you know, so I'm a safe option. So even if your song is whack, I won't tell you it's whack, but, you know, I'll, I'll say it in a very political manner. You know, I'll, say, I'll probably tell you, okay, let me, let, me, let me write the song for you. You're going to hear your favorite song, Crafts of Fame, on Kings of Joburg. We're getting Netflix money, boy. We started with that jam alley money. Now we're getting Netflix money, boy. <laughs> you putting women in top, money behind, you losing a game. Yeah. Ain't gonna go, cause I'm the part of you. Yeah. 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 Said I'd be fine, never the car, she couldn't even get it. I would have given up. I Hi, 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 guys. Um, I started the live the first time, it didn't go well, so I'm restarting it. So today I'll be talking to Superstar Mason. Let your fire instead of voltage. Yeah. Ooh, call when we link up, drink up, mix up. The reason why you so messed up, you think of the same stuff in the car with Oasis. Man, your trick is so basic. The reality is, it's a beautiful one because Superstar Mason invests a lot of money on his music, which most artists do not do. Let me see if I can request Mason now. There we go. Go live with him. Let's see. And here we go. <laughs> Let me take up your sound, my say. Hello. What up? What up? What up? What up? Um, I'm good. I'm good and you. I'm easy, bro. I'm just hella tired, yeah. You also had a busy day, I see. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was not it was those hectic ones. I was editing um like uh, some tennis thing, but let's not talk about that. Let's talk about you, say. Your real name is Masana oh. Balu. I didn't know that. <laughs> I didn't know that. And I've known you uh, since 2018, my king. Superstar yeah. Mason. How did you come up yeah. with that name? Well, Mason was given to me by my older brother because he oh, yeah? was into he was into hip hop, you know, just like me. So he listened to a lot of uh Mace. Remember Mace, the rapper, Mace and Betha. Oh yes, 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 yes. Uh, Mace, he did he, you know, the Bad Boy Squad, B.I.G. So he yes. liked him so much, he named, he named me after him. So he started calling me Mason, and the name stuck. I, I stuck with it, and yeah. And then the superstar only came when I was in varsity, because I felt like I was on another level, so I called myself superstar. So it's superstar Mason. Sure, sure, sure. That's 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 a cool name. I'm just I, I just had to tell you that. Um, you invest a lot of money on your music, say. What what are you looking for? Here for I'm looking for my drink. <laughs> I'm looking for my drink. <laughs> okay, man. So you invest a lot of money on your music, music videos, and content. Mm. Why that decision? Why do you decide to invest on that instead of going about and crying to people and trying to get signed? Well, I tried that, but, you know, nobody is willing to invest. You know, nobody's willing to listen. I mean, for me, it's like when I was in um, Varsity, I, I met a guy, you know, DJ HK, Husky Records. So okay. I thought, okay, from here, you know, we are on now. You know, I'm going to get a deal. Um, bro, I thought, like, the first time, not the first time, but then after I recorded the, the album, I recorded my album, which is not even, like, this album I'm talking about is not the uh, Price of Fame. It's Superstar yeah. Status. It was supposed to come out, but it never came out. So when I did that, in a month, and I thought, okay, now I got an album, we're hitting the big time. Um, and I thought I was supposed to blow, but it never happened. I thought just by doing that, I was supposed to get like a hammer, I was supposed to get money, I was supposed to get a house, you know. So I had a misconception about the industry, you know. I just thought just by rapping, Jay, money would just come to you automatically, but it's not like that, you know. So yeah, I, I started. Yeah, I started investing in myself. You know, I started investing in myself and I was like, okay, the best way is to, uh, for people to visualize my music. Because my music is fine when you play it, but if, if you got visuals to it, you're going to get the dream even better. 
And for that, oh, yeah, I knew yeah. that if, if I can show people what's in my mind, if I can show people my music, then the, the transition will be better. That's amazing. I love that a lot. So I, I, I don't know if you talk about this a lot, but you are a, you are a lawyer. You graduated from law, law school. Yeah, yeah, but I'm Why not a lawyer. Why law school? I'm not a You're lawyer. You're not a lawyer yet. yet. Yeah, I have to show Oh, you've my graduated though. Yeah, I got the qualification, but I need to uh, serve my articles and get the license to practice. So I'm not a lawyer as yet. But yeah, I am okay. in, the, in the legal field. Uh, why law? I chose law because initially I thought I wanted to help people. But I realized uh, I wanted to help myself more so that I can oh, help yeah. people. Yeah, so I wanted to empower myself, you know. And I thought I didn't want to do anything music related because, you know, I'm already a dope artist. So what is school going to do, if anything it'll have an opposite effect on me. You know what I mean? Yes, so I yes, knew yes. I was comfortable with making music, so I didn't want to go to school to learn how to make music or anything like that. So I went with law to empower myself and for st stability reasons, you know, like um, I pictured the 50-year-old me. What would I be doing? You know, and yes, then yes, I, yes. Think, I think I always, I remember me and um, uh, my partner, who did, we were, we were sitting and we were asking ourselves, what do rappers do from Monday to Friday? You know, you can't be in a studio all week. If you are in a studio, then you, well, who's sponsoring you? Who's paying your bills? You know, so first I had to take care of home. You know, I'm a father now. You know, I got an 18-month-year-old. So oh, I, yes. I got I got, yeah, I got, I got to provide. You know, I got to provide at home first before I can go out there and have fun. Because music for me is mostly fun because it's a, it's a talent that I've had. You know, it's a gift. So I use it very wisely. I don't use it um, to be a clown or just to make money yes. or, you know, or seeking attention. It's, it's very deep, actually. Right? Nice. That's amazing. So people are asking here. They're like, they're still surprised about the law. And then some people are saying, keep pushing. What degree did you graduate in? I don't know if you want to say that. Don't it's be shy LLB. about it. It's an LLB. Yeah. Yeah. LLB. An LLB. yeah. Okay. I so got it. people are... Yeah, but let me tell you the journey, bro. It's, 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 it wasn't easy because my first year was 2010. I was in the Northwest University. That was my oh, yes. first year. Yeah. So because I love music so much, I knew that, yo, I have to sacrifice it. So in 2010... I, I, I literally recorded two songs. I recorded one song in Social Groove Block L, Flossing. The song Flossing. Oh, yes. In my section, I need hood rats when I'm flexing. When I'm flexing, I need hood rats when I'm flexing. When I'm flexing, I need hood rats when I'm flexing. When I'm flexing, I'm not humble enough. I say I'm not local enough. You got a truck bubble, what's up? Since I'm not riding a bus, I've been knocked over like dust. Now I'm washed over like pot. Got my pot sold in one pot. I'm a star. And I record another song um, go University, go, uh, go res. It was called I'm So Fresh. So that song, I performed it the whole year, just that one song. But then I wasn't, I was focused. I was on my book. So music wasn't a priority at all. I'd only perform at school at those events. So I wasn't chasing music or anything like that. Oh, yeah, yes, yes, yes. So come December, you know, end of the year, I did very well. I passed all my modules, 12 modules at, at that time. But then I wasn't into music, so I was always frustrated, you know. And until my mom, you know, asked me, like, maybe it's because you're not listening to music or making music like you used to. And she was right, you know. So I went back yeah. to the music. So the following year, 2011, um, it, it wasn't really a good year because December 2010, I lost my best friend. So coming back to school, I, I had to question a lot of things, you know, yeah. like, I mean, this guy was my best friend. It could have been me, you know, but I'm still here. So what, I'm, what, what am I living for? You know, asking questions like that. So because, you know, I was, you know, I got fantastic passion when it comes to this music. It took over. And six months down the line, I found myself still living at school, but not attending classes. I'm not going to school. I don't even want to hear about it, you know, uh, because I was trying to create this energy where I'm just pursuing music. And I mean, that's, that's when I met DJ HK, 
and we started making music. So there was progression. You could see like, yo, things are changing. I'm putting posters in schools. I'm performing. You know, I'm trying to sell CDs. So a friend of mine, uh, I rap about this. A friend of mine used to sell weed at school. So he would sponsor me. You know, he would sponsor me like with a grand every week just so I could push my music. So I'd go make posters. I'd try to shoot videos. I even actually hollered at Casper. Well, not Casper directly, but because he was living within the area. But then you, Nale Joe's at the time trying to hustle. I hollered at his producer. I think it was his producer or video editor. So at that time, Nanyaga 2.5. Oh, one. So. Oh, to be on your song. Yeah, I wanted to feature him. Cause, cause you know he was pop, he was popping in Muff Town like he was the you know the guy in Muff Town. So I said okay maybe I should feature him. But then again like I told you I met DJ HK. DJ HK he used to work with Casper DJ HK. So before we knew Casper, that's finally DJ HK. Little double HP but two million the whole of Muff Town but two million DJ HK Morafi what they started. Oh nice. Yeah yeah. So you know it's it's humble beginnings. So when I did that, it wasn't necessary for me to go back to him to ask for a feature because I was working with him. And that's how the Tussman Straight Shatter feature happened. Straight Shatter, straight, straight Shatter. I got him screaming, who's that boy? Looking back at me, that's the new Akon. Nah, and I can prove they wrong Cause I'ma grab the game with this new made song They running for me like they Usain ball. You talking to the boss, boy, you stay calm And that's my chick with them two chains on She thinks she a superstar, cause she's made song So I met Tuss Man in the studio He gave me beats And we worked at it So there was progression, all right? So 2012, I went back home, kill Sasha Nothing was happening I recorded a mixtape But it never come out you know, because oh, yeah. well, the energy wasn't right because I'm talented, but I'm wasting my talent now. You know, I'm in the streets trying to hustle for what? Where I was in school, oh, yeah. comfortable, hitting the ball and getting by. So 2013, I decided, okay, I'm going to do everything now. I'm going to go to school, I'm going to work, and I'm going to do music. So obviously, school had to be the ultimate priority. So after like six months of working, I couldn't work anymore because my school was suffering. So I had to leave work and just stick to the books, like full time hit the books. Like when you wake up, you go to work, I wake up, I hit the books like that. So I did that. I was dedicated. I was committed, you know, and that I think uh, until I graduated, it was 2015. Then I got another job and it pushed me, pushed me. And because now I was in the right energy, right area, meeting the right people, doing the right things, you know, God blessed me with the right people around me. So at work, where I used to work, uh, I told my COO that I'm doing law. Oh, and he was like, what, really? Okay, you know what? As soon as you graduate, pick me up, we'll move you to the legal department. And that's exactly what okay. happened. Oh, and I graduated in 2017. 2018, they moved me to the legal and compliance department where, where I worked as a legal and compliance uh, officer. So that really empowered me to a point whereby now I can start investing in my own music, do what I really want to do, and show the world um, this talent that I have instead of knocking on doors and asking for favors, you know? Oh, yeah, so, yeah, yes, that's yes. the point. Yeah. So, so I, 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 from all this, I, I, I got it that the journey was long. But what yeah. I, got, I, I got the most was the fact that your mom was the one who advised you to go back to listening to music more and doing your music part more. So that is usually not how it goes. Parents usually want you yeah. to do the law stuff, the, the degrees and all that. Why do you think it's, it's like, how much support does your family have for you? And um, how do you feel that is important? that support from either family and friends or people around you. Let's talk about, let's say, the 1,000 that the guy was believing in a dream with. Why, yeah. How important is that support structure? Hey, bro, it's humbling, to be honest with you. Like, sometimes I don't even believe. Like, it's crazy because I, I, think, I think I'm like, who would I do that for, you know? Maybe there are people I do that for, but then why are they doing it for me? You know, what yes. do they do? Do they really believe like I believe? So it's like this journey, first, you believe in yourself and nobody believes in you, like nobody. You, you yourself and that's it. 
And then yeah. um, when everybody starts believing in you, you start doubting yourself, you know, and you're like, why? And then you realize that it was never about me. You know, it was never about me because now I find myself, even when I perform, like, I can't perform the songs I want to. I have to perform the songs that people want to hear. You know, oh, yeah, like this yeah, Saturday, yeah. a friend of mine told me that, hey, Mason, we know you got new stuff. We want your old hits. What are you dirty about my long <laughs> real deeds? Come up. You know, they, they want to have fun. And I realized that, okay, sometimes it's being selfish where I just want to show off my new songs and my yeah, updated yeah, yeah. skills and whatnot. You know, so it's never about me. That's what I realized. So I think that itself just humbles me. And yeah, Brad, it keeps me grounded. And that's how I relate to people and people relate to me. So with my, oh, parents, my parents, my parents are the funniest people in the world, man. So these guys, when, before I dropped out, I wanted to propose I love exactly what I want to do. I want to get 1,000 rand. And this time I'm going to get the money back. I went, and they, they laughed at my face, you know, they're like, you're crazy, you need to go back to school. And I think, you know, um, the way I took that, I was rebellious against that. I think that, oh, yes. that probably had um, something to do with the fact that I didn't want to go back. I wanted to prove them wrong, like I can really do this, you know. Yeah, but they, they've been supporting me. My dad loves my songs. He thinks I'm the best rapper. And the other day, man, he, he took... He found my old CDs, like, back when I was cutting demos in high school, bro. Like, way, way, way back. And then he played it and recorded it on his WhatsApp and sent it to me. Sent it to myself <laughs> and my brother. And asked for the highest bidder to buy the CD. So my brother beat me to it. So he bought the CD of my old stuff. But then it wasn't working in his car, so he had to bring it back. But then I thought that was dope. Yeah, so, support oh, the you know, like, people really believe. Yeah, they want to see the dream, you know. So that's that's what keeps me going. And even my son, man, like he's 18 months, but he goes crazy over my music. Like you won't believe. So I'm like, ah, I'm we're doing it. Right. Yeah, we're doing it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So, uh, so I love, I love um, the price of fame, the music yeah. video. I mean, uh, not the, the the songs themselves, but they they there's these visuals. I think it's like a series of visuals on your YouTube. Of yeah, like the slow the motion and behind the scenes stuff. Like I was like, it all started at the corner with these crooked cops. And now I'm meeting lawyers at the coffee shop. My nigga P be the only one I think about. My nigga Kashad, it's only right I call him out. I had to step back and look at how I'm living now. I take a sip of the gin and then I piss it out. I'm on another level, never succumb to the devil. I'm a rebel, I will never settle or end up in marriage. I don't deserve that. I'm better alone. But you gonna remember my I'm like the amount of money that's put into the music videos and the visuals only. I'm not saying comment on that, but I was like, wow, this is super amazing. So let's talk about 10 Rand, because people are asking about it here. 10 Rand, Mr. 10 Rand himself. 10 Rand is the yeah. new single. Uh, yeah. How is it going? Uh, it's, uh, I saw it's on the top 10. I think the last time yeah, I checked uh, it was number four on Alex FM. Yeah, I get top seven. I'm a top seven. No, oh, it's top seven. I, I thought it's top ten. Sorry about that. So I'm a top seven. It was on top, number four on Friday, the last time I checked. How is that going? What is that single about? Well, Ten Rands, it's an old song, by the way. Eh? I wrote that song in, in 2015. Yeah, 2015. So that song, when I and it's produced by my cousin, my little cousin. 22 if i'm not mistaken so i was as you can hear it's it's rap like it's really straight rap skill. yeah so that's what i was trying to do you know if you listen to the beat it's an angry beat but tell me how you feeling that i got it now you're saying that it's all because of him but even though you want a passenger it's still a band's for real 10 years young, I like to say the one. I did 10 girls, all told me that I'm the one. I'm doing 10 on the gravel like a lazy bum. I got 10 rands, 10, 10, 10 rands. I'm feeling 10 years young, I like to say the one. I did 10 girls, all told me that I'm So I wanted to rap and let people know that, yo, I'm, I'm, I'm the one. But then because we're making music and we're not just rapping, 
I wanted it to be appealing. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. So yes, yeah, yes. I made I made the hook before I got the beat. I only had the hook with no beat. You know, ten years young, I like to say one. I did ten girls all told me that I'm the one. I'm doing ten on the rebel like a lazy bum. I got ten rats, t- t- ten rats, and it's it's because of poverty. I don't lie to you, bro. Why am I rapping about ten rands, dog? Because I didn't have a hundred rand. You know, I only yeah, had coins. Yeah. Ten rand was the only paper of money that I could touch, bro. Like, yes, I, be, yes. hey, bro. I think I, I think I only ate debonairs when I was over eighteen, bro. I don't even lie, bro. Like, we've been broke. We've been broke. Yeah. We came day up to school, and a friend was selling weed, giving me a thousand. We were still broke. We were still hungry. Like it's never been good for us, or and it's always been bad. It's always been bad. We had to fight for everything we have. We had to fight for every single thing. You know, it was never given to us on a on a platter. So ten rand, that was a was a representation of we starting from the ground, going up. You know, we want that paper. Nice. If you gotta start with ten rand, start with ten rands. You know, double it up, make it twenty. From twenty, you go to a hundred. Hundred, you go to you know a thousand, just like that. So we start with sure. the term, because ten rands back then was a dollar, but one. But then now it's oh, yeah. now it's a less than a dollar. It's like fifty cents now. You know what I mean? But that's where you yeah. start. You still have the ten rand note, you still gotta use it. So what do you do if you have ten rands? You know, so Build it's it like up. Yes. yeah, you gotta maximize everything, any opportunity. You know, take it to the optimal level and. That's what ten rands really represent. And if you if you listen to the lyrics and just follow it, it's three verses. If you follow it verse verse for verse, you can tell that I'm I'm elevated. And when I, I start with the I don't I don't um thingy, I, I'm not scared of anybody but God. And then you know I, I go into the second verse. Uh, I tell you I don't want to talk about the old stuff. I'm moving on now. I can do this. I can do that. I'm so skillful. You won't mess with me. Third verse. I mix my weed with the herb from the tree that emerged from the tree. Sick, just crazy stuff, you know? So that's yes, what I was yes. trying to And then even with this mixtape, bro, the Freedom Day mixtape, you guys were not really supposed to get that this year. It wasn't part of the plan. So when I started oh, yeah. 20 yeah, when I started 2020, Freedom Day mixtape wasn't part of the plan, but I had to adjust because of what certain things that happened, not necessarily just COVID itself. COVID, you know yeah. I mean? But then, you know, just, you know, relationships and the people that I work with and the music industry and the feel of what people want at that time. So I had to make an executive decision. And because I have so much music, I got the luxury of doing things like that. You know, if I want to release oh, music... Oh, yes, yes. Just dropping something when you want to. I don't have to run to a studio and, you know, it's an emergency. Oh, let's do this. That's not music. You know, that's something else. So I make music, um, like, at my leisure. I make music when I want to, but and which is, like, very often. Like, probably... Yeah, very often, bro. So I make music... And I stack it up, you know, it's records. I oh, stack yes. them up and I release them at the right time. So even with 10 Rams, when I decided to make it a single, it was me. You know, I listened to all those songs and I'm like, you know, 10 Rams has that appeal that to bring rap back. These other songs, yes. obviously, but as the first single, I wanted to go hard. But then I also knew yes. that, I also knew that because it's so rap, some people might take offense to it. Like, oh, you what's this? Guy? You know what I mean? But that was the risk I was willing to take. But then we let the people yeah. decide. Yeah. Yeah, because I, I wanted to say, like, yo, your flow is hardcore rap. You're not on that school school stuff. It, 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 it feels like... I, I listen to it, I'm like, yo, hey. At first, it was hard for me to listen to your music. I'm not going to lie. Like, 2018, Come Up was easy to listen to. But when I got to listen to the other songs, I was like, What? This was like the hardcore stuff that I'm used to, you know, and what type of hip hop stuff, not the not the rap, rap, rap that you, you give. Someone is asking how old you are. Uh, I don't know if you want to answer that. Yeah, I'm, I'm 29. Oh, yes, that's right. And then someone says, um, uh, uh, people who can spread their wings belong one thing. Hey, I don't know how to read English. I'm sorry. Your friends are loyal. What language that do you speak? 
hey, uh, Chief, there's a lot of things here. Best brother, okay. Dope flow, they're saying that. And then always greener. Okay, so that's like super amazing. How do you decide which song gets the music video? Yes, that's what I wanted to ask. And um, why is it important? After that, you can answer that. Why is it important to appear on like those performances and then going to radio a lot? You visit radio stations a lot. I've seen you on almost a lot of community radio stations. I don't know the national ones. Uh, oh, well, YFM, you were on YFM the other time. So yeah. you go to radio stations a lot. Yeah. First of all, which music, which song gets the music video? How do you choose that? And then tell me how important it is to go to radio stations. Uh, so with the music video thing, if, if, if I had the chance, I'd shoot for all my music, you know? And right now, we, we're at a very advantaged position because we have cameras now. You know? yes. And we have phones with, with cameras now, you know? So we, we are creative in, in a couple of ways. It's not just music, it's also visual. So the music videos that you see are the music videos that I came with the ideas and thought. And before then, I had to look for somebody who can shoot dope, and then I'll tell him what to do. And then obviously, yes. because he is a cameraman and a director, the rest he'll sort out. You know, so some music videos, you can think of them, and then you realize that maybe it's too far-fetched. You know, maybe we're yeah. not ready to put out that type of quality. That. Yeah, but then we, we, we're still working. We're still working, so it's not a problem. You know, we, we, are, we are always a work in progress. You know, because ultimately, man, I want to sh wanna shoot not just music videos, bro, but even movies, you know what I mean? I'm out here. See me out here. Not really the acting type. You know, I just want my music to appear in movies and for me to you know, like script writing and whatnot. I like that type of so, stuff. Wait, wait, I'm sorry, I'm gonna get it. So the question is, when you are, because when it comes to music for music videos, do you want your music yeah. to be in movies or do you wanna make music specifically for that movie? Do you watch a both movie ways. and feel like, you said? Both ways, both ways. Both, both ways. ways, oh yeah. Okay. yeah. In That's fact, nice. what I would even, yeah, what I would even appreciate is when they're shooting the movie, they actually invite me. You know what I mean? So I'm around them. I feel the energy. I'm, I'll make the music right there. Because I make music yeah. in my head. You know, I make music in my head. Writing it down is just a formality or so that you don't forget that it's there. You know, anytime you can go. But then I make it in my yeah. head. And because uh, our phones got recorders, I also got to take the phone. I record it. Once I record it, it's Same there. Time. I'll go to the yeah, same time. I'll go to the studio whenever I go and record. Yeah, so, nice. um, yeah, what, what was the other question again? Uh, no, no, the other question was radio. How important it is, is it to go to radios and appear on radio stations a lot, a lot, a lot? You do a lot of that. So uh, this yeah. one is more for the young uh, rappers or the young or aspiring rappers. I feel like they are missing the point sometimes. I know you have to hit up yeah. you know, maybe the rappers that you look up to, but sometimes you need mm. to put on the work on your side so that people see you. So how important yeah. is it to, to go to radio stations, market your music kind of? Yeah, man, I think uh, it'll, you know, the answer will probably differ from artist to artist. But for me, for my music, I feel like my music is great and it needs to be heard. And I can't just oh, yeah. keep sending emails and being online, I need to physically appear at these places so they know me and I create those relationships. Because after me is an, another one that I need to put in. And if they know me, obviously they're going to mess with you. You know, so radio, oh, yes. for me, yeah, radio for me is very important because 20 years ago, bro, we only had radio. We only had radio and we only had Channel O. Those were the platforms we only knew. I used to wake up five, six, going to school, Channel O, was the first place we would see music videos, you know? So the yes. people would listen to, we would see on TV, you know what I mean? And it was like, wow, man, this is it. This is what I want to do. So that's yeah. the formula that 
I stuck to because I'm old school, bro. You know, I'm not good with social media, bro. You know, so radio, just hearing my songs on radio even now, it's, it's humbling. You know what I mean? And yeah, it's good. yeah, yeah. It's good if you're an artist and there's a place where people embrace you, you know, other than yourself. When you're online, you're posting your songs, you know, who's listening to it? You don't know. You know, they might like your post, but you don't know if they're really listening to it. When it's on radio, they're listening, you know. You don't know how many people are listening in, but that DJ who's playing it, he's there. Even if he's alone, he's listening to it then. And I'm he's, listening he's, to it on this side. I tell my people to listen in and they listen in and they buy the fact that, yo, this guy's on radio. That means he makes good music. He's playlisted. Radio is how artists get paid, you know, royalties. So, yeah. I mean, someone, wait, wait. someone is saying thank you to whoever leaked your, 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 your mixtape. Yeah. Who leaked it? What is that? I didn't know it was leaked, Chief. God, well, you didn't say it was leaked. Yeah, let me tell you the story. So, the Freedom Day mix, I released the mixtape in 2013, of which I didn't even know we released. I think I thought we released it on Data File Host. Oh, or yes. What? And you know what? Those links disappear after a while. So it was nowhere oh, yes. to be found. Only to find out that it was on datepiff.com. And then I didn't release it. It was my little brother who released it. You know what I mean? <laughs> So I only found that out when I released uh, the Freedom Day mixtape of this year. Uh, well, yes. So it's the same title, uh, but it's completely different songs. Because I always wondered, where, where do people know? Like, I got a video for Dirty By My Lonely. But then, oh, yeah. I, you know, like 500 views. So it's not a lot of people have seen it. But I always wondered, where do they know the song from? You know, evidently, they know it when I released it in 2013. And I didn't even know. So, yeah, that's what happened with the Freedom Day mixtape. So even with this one, I said, I said, even with this one, I said leak because it was a leak because you guys were not supposed to hear it. It wasn't supposed to oh, come yeah. out. I made the decision on the spot. I said, you know what? Let me release my music, man, because these guys are actually winning awards so undeservingly, and we, I'm just yes. I'm a spectator. Yes. You know, I've got so much music, bro, and I can't be spectating, you know? So I was Take like, Take it nah. out to the people. Take it out to the people. Exactly. <laughs> I'm not even a music person. I'm not uh, a rapper or anything. But I get a lot of inboxes about people saying that they rap and all those other things. What mm. would you say to a young rapper? Let's say he's in high school trying to rap right now. He has nothing to do. He doesn't know anything. But he wants his music to be out there. Or maybe he's creating beats somewhere in the backyard. He doesn't know. Like, what, what, what would you say to them? I don't know if you have advice for them. Yeah, well, one, stay in school. You know, school is very important. Um, don't quit school, man. Don't let them lie to you. It's hard out there. It's harder without yeah. education. So stay in school. You know, stay focused and you got to have a dream, man. You know, it's like, why do you want to be a rapper? Oh, and it's even worse when you're not even gifted, bro. You know, like, why do you want to be a rapper? So currently, I'm, I'm, I'm working and I'm helping various young people. You know what I mean? Oh, nice. Uh, I even write music for some of them. I introduce them to producers, studios, I advise them from time to time, they come at me. So, you know, I'm, I'm a positive guy, so I'm, ne I'm never going to break your spirit, you know, so I'm a safe option. So even if your song is whack, I won't tell you it's whack, but, you know, I'll, I'll say it in a very political manner. You know, I'll, say, I'll probably tell you, okay, let me, let, me, let me write the song for you. But, you know, that doesn't help oh, yeah. because you, you don't grow. You know what I mean? So... I'd keep working with you and advise you how to write and what beats to rap on, what to say, what not to say, how to say it. Confidence is very important. So I've, I've realized that even the whack guys got confidence, you know, and that's the confidence that surprises me. I don't know where they get it, man. But then obviously if, if you believe in yourself, nothing can stop you. Believe in yourself, yeah. Yeah, if you if you but you have to first start believing in yourself. That's that's the first thing, you know. Believe in yourself. Don't be arrogant about it. Even if you're good, don't be arrogant about it. 
listen when people advise you, but uh, you have to discern between good advice and bad advice. So only you will know what's good for you and what's not good for you. So for me, the music is meant to be exploited, you know? So we exploit the music and we use self to exploit the music. So like you, you got to position yourself and see where you are um, in your career so that you make the proper decisions. Like for me now, I decline a lot of features. Like I, I don't want to be the artist to just work with everybody because I can work with everybody, you know? But oh, yeah. because I make music, music is my life, bro. And I'm not in a rush to, for anything. I'm not chasing anything. You know, I make music. That's a fact. I'm an artist, so I'm not chasing anything. So a lot of people come in the industry chasing, chasing, chasing. But what are they chasing? You know, because ultimately, why, what are you, why are you doing it for? If, if you're doing it to drive a Benz, you can still go to school and buy a Benz, bro. You know, so yes. you need to know what you want. That's the thing. So for me, music is it, selfless. I don't do it for me, like I said. I know. I'm the artist I know, so my story will come from me, from my personal experience, my perceptions, but I try to globalize my sound. I want, oh, that's yes. why maybe I, I rap in English most of the time because I can articulate myself better. I feel like I'll be limited. I want, I get I get fluent, I get strong. Otherwise, uh, this yeah. interview, give it a little strong. <laughs> so I say you gotta be comfortable, you gotta believe in yourself, and you gotta know what you want. Because we can, we all can get what we want. That's a fact. We all can get what we want. The problem is what happens when you get it. And so don't get it too soon because you're gonna lose it too soon. But the journey yes. is what's exciting. The journey is exciting. And you gotta be real, man. People gotta see you live it. You know, you can't just be online posting and you think you're a superstar, man. You know, so you gotta live it, bro. So yeah. So the the, the reality is, I I I just I, I I was just thinking the other day. I was like, first thing that a person gets when it comes to music is a voice, and then it's yeah. something to say, and then also there's a story. What story is behind you? What 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 happened? before because sometimes people do not buy into the music they buy into the story of that person and mm. that's why most rappers that are not uh rappers are big it's because they have a story in the background you understand people are buying that story you understand so i'm just yeah. saying there's always that so what you're saying is it's important to leave in the now and then continue making music if you believe in yourself and have that confidence so that's very important thank you for that uh i, I i'll also put that on my own stuff because that's needed a lot a lot a lot on my side as well yeah. so thank you very much for your advice yeah. thank you for coming and and although there were like a lot of technical stuff at the beginning you stayed and you became patient thank you myself no doubt. Thank you, man. And I just before you end it, what you just said, you know, like living in the now is very important, bro. Because uh, in the presence, that's where you're most powerful. You know, right now I was reading uh, the book of Jonah, Jonah, you know, uh, from the Bible. And um, yes. when, when he was swallowed by the whale, which we assumed is a whale, was a big fish um, for three days and three nights. But imagine that. And he spoke to God in the now. So he wasn't in the way of thinking about the past. He wasn't in the way of thinking about the future. He was in the now. He had to pray now, you know, believe now. And then, yes. you know, God just commanded, you know, for the way to let him out. So you need to believe, bro. And I know we have different belief systems, you know. But, you know, I, I believe in God of heaven, you know, creator of um, the land heaven and the heaven. sea. You know, the land yeah. that we walk on, you know, the sky that we see above, creator of us, bro. You know, so it's very important, bro. Your, your, your spirituality and what you believe in uh, can also determine a lot of things. Like I said, we can all get what we want. So the problem um, arises when you get it because it's how you got it, you know. So, yeah, man, like I said, I thank you. Hey, bro, you must tell to me to, you know, follow me, man. 
and post my stuff. Because <laughs> I, I need to work with people like that because she's in movies and whatnot. You know, so yes. I need those kind of connections. And yo, Kings of Joburg, yo. I'm on, I'm not on, my music is on that series, Kings of Joburg. So we waiting for it. Episode five and six. I don't want you to start with episode one when it comes out. Start with episode five and six. You're going to hear your favorite song, Crash of Fame, on Kings of Joburg. We're getting Netflix money, boy. We started with that jam money. money. Now we're getting Netflix money, boy. <laughs> That's amazing. I didn't know that. Okay, I can't wait for that. When yeah. is it coming out on Netflix? I have no idea. It was supposed to start okay. uh, this year in October, but maybe because of the lockdown situation, they postponed it. But then when it when it hits the screen, oh, best believe I'll be posting it. Yeah, I've been keeping it down because I want I want to see it myself, you know. So, but it's definitely when it drops, episode five and six, boy. You better start with those episodes. That's all I'm saying. And then I'll go back to episode one. I've thought. Okay, thank I can you very much. Again. I was saying, oh, so yeah. I'll go to episode number one afterwards. Yeah, start with five and six. Because it's six. The, the first season is six episodes. So start at the end and then start, you know. Start at five, six, and then start with one. And then I'm also on season two. When they announce it, I'll tell you more information. But then, yo, series, yo, five, six, start with that, and then go back. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. That was an exclusive. I was waiting for something exclusive. That is the one. Thank you very much. Thank you for connecting it to film. And let's make music and then make sure that you make your music and then it goes to movies. Let's just put a timeline exactly. to it because that's the only way to do it, you know. Thank you very exactly. much, my son. All right, dog. It's been a pleasure, man. Sure, sure. Wow, 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 wow. I just want to say I'm Mason having him the saying name drop boy boy okay is his name okay we are in the kitchen cooking up lobster the price of fame king of Josie episode five and five and six I see that I see you guys it's coming okay so people are proud of superstar Mason thank you very much for being on the live guys I know you came for Mason so thank you for being here we'll talk Enjoy your day. You saw on us. Stay beautiful and be in love out there. Just don't kiss people. I'm just saying there's Corona. Easy. Because we rejoice. Because people, they wish to be here.